Also on this Earth Day, WCCO is taking an in-depth look at the impacts of a fast-changing climate here in Minnesota. And as you're about to see, winter in the land of 10,000 lakes looks much different now than it once did. Here in Minnesota, winter is part of the state's DNA. <laughs> Blizzards and bone chilling cold are just part of the deal around here, but it's our winters that are changing the fastest. Yeah, warming winters, that's our signature change in our climate for sure. They change in a subtle way, but they're changing profoundly. Take the ice on our 10,000 lakes, for example. Lakes now freeze over about nine days later than they did in 1967, and the ice gives out four to five days earlier. So we're almost about two weeks less of ice coverage in a given year on average. That shrinking ice fishing season is catching some attention at places like Blue Ribbon Bait and Tackle. Uh, I'm the Grizz. Dick Grizz Javinsky is known as a walleye whisperer who angled his way into the state and national fishing hall of fame. It's never a bad day in fishing. No matter the weather, even at 80 years old, he makes it out there. We've even worn hip boots and waders that get out to the ice, crawl up on top, and then walk out. So. If you're hardcore, you know. But there's no denying our warming winters are squeezing winter recreation. And I used to pull out my fish house onto the lake on my birthday on December 5th, and now you can't do that anymore. I mean, John Hawksmeyer with the Minnesota DNR out. says early ice out and warming lakes are hurting walleye and pike production too. It's a passion of mine and that's why I want to protect it. Winter recreation like ice fishing is not just a hobby. It's part of Minnesota's identity and it's big business. It's a culture we have in Minnesota. It's also a, it, it makes Minnesota a destination. You know, fishing in Minnesota generates a lot of money. I mean, we kind of live for winter because if you can't, then you're, half your year is ruined. Because we're not going to have perfect powder conditions every winter. We know that those, those days are gone now. And it's not all about us. This can have profound impacts on our ecosystems and our forests and everything that lives here. The changes are subtle. Less snow stays on the ground. The cold snaps aren't as cold. Northern Minnesota's winters have eroded quickly. They've changed quickly. So a typical winter night in northern Minnesota is now about seven degrees warmer than it was just, you know, several decades ago. Even when we look at how cold it felt this winter, we can look backwards and see it really wasn't that cold historically. But there's nothing subtle about it when you look at the big picture. We have seen in northern Minnesota, yeah, some of the fastest changing winter conditions in the country. This is our signature change that we've observed here. Climatologists also say less snowpack can contribute to more warming. And the report you just saw is just one small piece of a new special we're streaming later this evening on CBS News Minnesota. It is called Eye on Earth Climate Impact. You can stream tonight's one hour special at 630. Look for it on CBS News Minnesota, streaming on CBS News apps and over on Pluto TV.